in the last video uh, I made one mistake so let me correct that mistake first so here I didn't realize we had to sketch the graph from negative pi to pi so you hopefully you know the relation between uh, this pi is when you're talking in terms of pi you're talking in terms of radians so <coughs> sorry so you should be knowing that 2 pi is 360 degrees okay so from that you can say pi is 180 and say pi by 2 is 90 and so on okay so let me make this slightly thinner so this is what I like so what's the mistake that I did I'll show that so I uh, we drew this part of the graph okay uh, I was uh, thinking that it is 360 degrees okay from 0 to 360 but the question was you had to uh, graph from negative pi to pi so 90 is pi by 2 180 is pi 270 is 3 pi by 2 and 360 is 2 pi so as you know a sine curve is a cyclic curve sine 0 is 0 sine 90 uh, I'm suppose I'm talking about Suppose the amplitude is 1. I'm talking about y is equal to sine. Suppose this is 1 and this is negative 1. I'm talking about y is equal to the graph of y is equal to sine x. So sine 0 is 0. Sine 90 or sine pi by 2 is 1. Sine pi is 180. Sorry, sine pi is 0. Sine 3 pi by 2 is negative 1 and sine 2 pi is 0. So starts at baseline which is maximum hits the baseline which is minimum and maximum and if you go backwards it is the same cycle so from baseline it goes to the minimum and then it reaches the uh, baseline so this is the graph they were looking at okay so this is so you can delete this if you want to this is not what they're asking they're asking only this part so we had to graph till pi so say this let me use the red pen so this is up to pi so this is up to pi and yeah I will change this to amplitude is 3 here so let me write 3 there so here the amplitude is 3 and this is negative 3 so this is the graph that they are looking for let me also do the question along with that so let me drag this up so the question is the straight line the straight line y is equal to 4x sorry kx where k is a constant passes through the maximum point now this is the maximum point now there is a line which is passing through so let me draw the line so this is again a sketch a line which is now here the coefficient is the y-intercept is zero okay because let me write this equation so can I write this as y is equal to kx plus 0 so k is the gradient and 0 is the y-intercept so I can say the line is passing through 0 and 3 okay so I can say this is the line okay I'll highlight this and slightly more this okay, so this is the line that they're talking about so the question is what's the gradient of this line okay now to find the gradient you need to know the rise and the run okay and the question is you have to write k in terms of pi so let me delete this 90 to 70 we're talking in terms of pi so here what's the rise okay so you can see it I'm talking about this line from year to year from left to right what's the rise this is the rise so I can see the rise is from 0 to 3 so the rise is 3 and what's the run you have to talk in terms of pi so the run is this is the run which is pi by 2 so k is the gradient so let me scroll down so I can say k is rise over run rise over run 
and the rise is 3 and the run is pi by 2 and when you're dividing by half that means you're, you're dividing by half that means you're multiplying by 2 that is nothing but k is equal to 6 over pi so we can write the equation like y is equal to 6 over pi x is the equation of this line. Okay, in the last video I told you that I'm going to prove, in one of the previous videos I told you that we're going to prove this result. That is, this tn is equal to a plus n minus 1 times d and we'll also try to prove this that is Sn is equal to n by 2 times 2a plus n minus 1 times d. So let us use, again let me have a thinner pen, I like thinner pens. So let me use brown now. So let me scroll down. So this is where we finish last, okay. So we want to prove, this is our, I'll try to prove this and hopefully the next formula also. The formula is a plus n minus 1 times t. So this is the formula of the nth term. The nth term. nth term. So let us prove it. The, the proof is very simple. So, so let us, let me give you an example uh, of, uh, and from that we will prove it. So let us make up a series of arithmetic progression. You should be knowing an arithmetic progression, a series of arithmetic progression has a common difference, which is called as D. So I'm making up a series. So for this is 5, 8, 11, 14, 17, 20. Now I hope you can see the pattern here. This is increasing by 3. 5 plus 3 is 8, plus 3 is 11, plus 3 is 14, 17, 20. Now here, this is A is 5 and the common difference is 3. So phi, I'm going to write phi as phi. Okay. Can I write 8 as phi plus 3? How can I write 11 as 5? So I can say that is 5 plus 6. What is this? This is 5 plus 9. And this is 5 plus 12. And this is 5 plus 15. Okay. Now this, we know A is defined as the first term. So if this is A, can I say this is A plus 1D? This is A plus 2D. We, you know the D. Let me write. You know A is 5 and D is 3. Okay. So 5 plus 1 times 3 is 5 plus 3. So can I write this as A plus 3D? This is 3 times 3. D, 9 is 3 times 3. Can I write this as A plus 4D? And can I write this A plus 5D? Okay. So, what do we call this? So let me scroll that slightly up. So, can I say this is my T1? This is my T2. This is my T3. This is my T4. This is my T5. I want you to see a pattern there. T6. I want you to look at this 4 and 3. 5 and 4. 6 and 5. 3 and 2. 2 and 1. Okay. So here you can write this is A plus 0D. 0D is so what's the relation? This 0 is 1 less than 1. This 1 is 1 less than 2. 2 is 1 less than 3 and so on. So if you've got the sixth term, you can write a plus 5d. Now if you understand the pattern, if someone is asking you, what is t2 
T20. T20, I can say, okay, you, looking at this pattern, I can say it is A plus 19 times D. Or if you want to write in a general form, it will be A plus 20 minus 1 times T. If, suppose, what is T99? Would be A plus 99 minus 1 times T. Or that is A plus 98D. So generally, if you want to write in a general form, we write, okay, Tn, whatever that n is, would be the first term A plus 1 less than this times T, n minus 1 times T. And that's how uh, mathematicians have proved this formula. That is the nth term of an arithmetic progress progression has this formula of a plus n minus 1 times t. I'll prove the SN formula in the next video.